Welcome everyone, today we have a new video and in this video we'll be looking into some of the interesting topics and also questions players have at the moment. So one of the biggest questions is, players have noticed that the expired date of the items of the event have extended by another week. Does that mean that there is going to be a delay in the April patch? So over here we have the answers from the official moderators about the homemade rebuff, about the expired date of the items, of the delays of the patch, about you know the power pass being free or not, and how do we get those. And also there's a lot of questions that is answered by the official moderators on the official forum. So I have made a summary of those interesting questions and we'll have a look at this one together. And also do we get summoners and also do we change the name of you know, Claveria to Lensmaster? We'll have a look at those questions as well from the official response. On the second part of this video, I also have found some additional guides for us, you know, including sailing and also including virtual stats and, you know, getting skill points and also finally the comparison between King Blunt Weapon and also Grudge. We'll briefly talk about those as well on the second part. Now coming over to our summary notes. So over here, I have had a lot of questions lately ever since the roadmap from a lot of our viewers about those questions. And I was looking around on the official forum for the moderator's response. And over here, I was searching through a lot of those and I picked some of those really important ones first. So what I'll do is, let's briefly talk about those questions and also moderator's response. So those are official response from the moderators. Now, it is said on the official forum that although those are official response, things can still change in the future. So please be aware of this. So the first question the players have is about homing rates. We have heard that in the Korean version, the homing rate base rate for tier 1, tier 2, and also tier 3 is actually boosted to help the players to catch up to 1370. Now, the first question you know, that was answered by the moderators is that there is no specific plan to get this homing rate at April or May patch. Because as it is said over here, it wasn't included as a part of the content roadmap and it wasn't planned. It could still come, but it's more like a live situation. So it is not planned. And for those of us that is planning to wait for the, you know, to wait for the higher homing rates for the alt characters, this won't be coming anytime soon. So this is during the roadmap for April and also for May. Now the second question that players have, which is quite interesting, and I also noticed this as well today. So I was like, hey, my homing books are not expiring. So notice that this homing book is expiring on the 21st. It was supposed to expire on the 14th of April. So this homing books expiry and also event item expiry have been extended by a week. And most of the players are like, oh, does that mean this is actually, you know, affecting the update? Well, what's happening? There was no mention in the maintenance post, right? Is that so hidden? Are they very settled about this? So some of the questions about this is whether this is actually going to, you know, affect the, basically, is this going to affect the release of the upcoming content for April? So the developers are saying they don't want to spoil anything and they will release the date in a few days time about the April patch. So right now there isn't any confirmation. So it will say this will come, but you know, there's no confirmation of whether the change of the expired date is actually leading to the, you know, the delays of the patch. Because we noticed the event items has changed in expired date. Does that mean that the April patch that is delayed for a week? So we're expecting the April patch to come next week around the 14th, right? But if this doesn't come and if this comes on the 21st because of the change of date, so we're not sure about this. And there was no confirmation from the official forum and the moderators about this. So right now everyone's questioning, is this happening? Let's hope it's not delayed, right? Because the April patch will give us more content and also more loots with soft van as well. So very excited for this one. But right now, this one, this question is not answered. And you can see that players are very on point. They are saying, hey, notice that, you know, there has been change of dates and what's happening, what's you know, happening to the homie books. So this one is not confirmed. Now, the next question about the next patch is going to be about the 960 power pass. Is it going to be free and how to get those? So I have been searching around for the power pass. You can see there are some questions about the power pass. The first one is, is it going to be paid to win and how to get those? One of the questions answered by the moderator is, players will earn the power pass in-game. The second answer is, the power pass will be free. It will not cost money. You'll have to earn the power pass like everything else. And if you guys remember the first power pass, we did have to earn the power pass. So this is a good news, right? So basically the power pass for 960, the new power pass, will be free but you will have to be earned by the players after doing certain events or certain quests, I believe. 
Now, following from the question of the power pass, players were also wondering if there will be catch up mechanics for the new class and also for characters. So, the answer from the developers is there will actually be a few answers. So, the first one is do we get catch up mechanics from the new class? The answer is the power pass is a part of the catch up. And also, there will be other ways to help the players to bump their characters. Basically, you know, different catch up event. Which is a good thing, right? So we know the power pass will be there to help with the new character, and also a catch-up event will be available that will be released on the new patch. There was another question of suggesting that tier two materials become roast abundant, which is a really good idea, right? So this is one of the questions that was given to the developers, so we can use this on the new character. The answer is this is a feedback that is sent to the developers team, and if there's going to be implementation of this, this will let the players know. But currently, I don't think this is the case, so those will still be roast abundant, which will delay our progress into the new class a little bit if you're planning to you know, level up the new class to tier 3. So hopefully in the future, we have the tier 2 materials that are roast abundant instead of you know bonded by characters, which will be a really good change. Now, one of the frequent questions I was getting is where will we get new character slot? You know, by logic, we should get it because players might not have enough character slot for the new class, and that's not very reasonable, right? So over here, this has been replied as well. We're likely to get the new character slot for the April update. And for players who have purchased the ticket for the additional slots, this will become more useful again. Because, you know, previously players who have purchased the character slot, they could only make a certain amount of characters. Now there will likely be new character slot for the new class that is available, which seems very logical, right? So yes, we'll be getting new character slot for the new class on the April update very likely. Now, finally, we also have some interesting questions for the developers of, on the forum about petition to change Glavier's name into Lensmaster. And currently, it seems that this is off the table, not considered, simply because this will might delay the class and also content because this will change the back end of the programming and also the naming for a lot of things. So that is not available. The other question I also found is, please don't butcher summoner's name. So the another class that may be coming in the future will be summoners. It seems that the summoner class will be coming and she will come back as summoner as stated over here, in case you guys are wondering. Because as I was looking for you know hundreds of you know replies from the official forum, I found some of the interesting ones. And I do think this serves as a small form of question and also answers. Because it seems like the developers and also moderators are much more I guess responsive compared to you know on Twitter or social media, they are much more responsive on the forums. And what I try to do is once I get enough questions from our viewers and once we have enough important I guess information, we'll make a video like this to share you what's coming with the game because I think just roadmap alone just not giving us enough information, right? So hopefully this one helps you to clear up what's coming on April and what's happening on May. Now coming over to some of the community guide that is shared on Reddit. So I usually come across those, but personally I haven't had a big use of those, so I didn't rush to make a video. But I do want to share this with you guys in case you guys are looking into this. So this is a post from CVU over here, and this is about the best in slot co-op sailors. And <laughs> I definitely did not look into sailing, so definitely have a look at this one. And if you guys think this is helpful, you know, give him a like and you know, this is Quite interesting. I actually never really tried co-op sailing, so I was like, you know, I'll share this one. And the second one is about getting virtual stats. Now this one is from Buzzard, and I am thinking of working on those as well. Because I'm thinking working on collectibles and getting my masterpieces, and I will be needing my virtual stats for the report. So definitely have a look at this post. I have not started to do those yet. So my virtual stats are super low. <laughs> I'll show you guys in the game. I'm really behind on virtual stats, and it's only about 200. I will be looking into those, and I do think this is a really good guide if you guys want to join me. Now, one of the next guides from the community is also working on adventure tomes to get skill points. Now, personally, I have not really getting into the skill points or getting, you know, adventure tomes. But as for now, I was thinking of getting my adventure tomes so I can get the masterpieces from certain, you know, places. So this is my plan because masterpiece will give us gold, right? So one of my plan is to get masterpieces. And I found this particular Reddit guide from Kessing got over here and definitely have a look at this one if you do plan to get things 
over 70%. And I do think this will help you to get more skill points and also master pieces, which will give us more gold. Because if we come over to the collectible over here, my plan is I am planning to get master pieces because if you look at the reward, you'll get 3,000 gold, 5,000 gold, 8,000 gold and also 13,000 gold. So there's some really good gold to be looted and one of the first steps I'll do for Masterpiece is getting some of the Adventure Tombs to 40% and also 50%. And finally, we have this Reddit guide from X3 over here about King Blunt Rip Weapon versus Grudge. Those are the formulas and calculations whether those engravings will be better. Now, personally, I did not look into this, but I thought in case you guys have been getting those engravings, you can have a look at it. Because my engravings, I'm going for Raid Captain, <laughs> I'm brainless, you know. I was like, I'll go for movement speed, and movement speed gives me damage. Easy, right? I was doing a lot of damage in the event raid because we got so much movement speed boost. So I went for Raid Captain. But in case you guys are going for Blunt Weapon versus Scratch, definitely have a look at this one. Now, because I didn't because I didn't build into this, I did not read all of this. But I thought it would be interesting if you guys want to know the comparison and which trends better. Now, hopefully you guys found this video helpful. All of the notes and also the Reddit guys links will be available on this video in the description below. And let me know what you guys think about the delays of the patch. And this is not confirmed, but we're a little worried. So this is one of the reasons some of the players were asking me about this. Let's hope it's not delayed to the 21st, but we don't know. So <laughs> let, let's find out very soon. Hopefully we get official information on this one. And also it's nice to see the small response on official form for certain questions about the free battle pass, about catch-up mechanics, about different questions, you know, that is available on the forum, which is really nice. Now, if you guys haven't subscribed to this YouTube channel, make sure you do so, because we'll be getting a lot of guides, a lot of tips as I discover them, and I love the game. So I want to share as much as I can with you guys, and let's have a great time in Lost Ark as we explore this game and get the most out of it.